You've seen them. Thousands of new homes and strip malls and offices have gone up all around Houston in the last few years. But is anyone inspecting the buildings to make sure that they're built right? 11 News reporter Dave Failing tells you what you need to know about the inspection of your new home. Maybe you're buying a brand new home or getting a new roof for the home you've got. John Corberuvia says be careful. Nobody is, is protecting the consumers. He says his new home had bad siding and leaky windows. It destroyed all of our carpets during a, a small rainstorm. Defects that he says nobody caught. City inspectors check new construction. But Corberuvius has come to believe they don't have time to do more than the very basics. They make sure that the water is hooked up, electricity is hook, hooked up, and that's really about it. Home building may have slowed down, but there's still plenty of it going on. Plus, new offices, apartments, even hospitals going up. But who's making sure it's all being built properly? A lot of cities and towns don't have nearly enough building code inspectors. And in some places, there are no inspectors at all. You've got hundreds of new homes going up. How many inspectors do you have? Well, I've got three full-time building inspectors, plus myself. If it gets too much, I can do that. That's all of this is very new. John Brown is the chief building inspector in Rosenberg. Once a farming town is now home to new subdivisions where builders have put up some 900 houses and 250 commercial projects in just the past three years. Ideally, Brown says his city inspectors shouldn't have to do more than 10 inspections a day. No more than 10 or so. Well, that would be ideal, yes. But the reality? As many as twice that number, sometimes 20 a day. Officials in suburbs, including Sugar Land and Tomball, told us the same thing. City inspectors doing double what's considered ideal. Contrast that. This is city of Richmond. To what uh, Gerald Reese does. We don't schedule more than two inspections a day. We were with Reese as he inspected a home in Richmond. But he works not for the city, but for home buyers. We actually have a picture that shows the defect. Home buyers pay him hundreds of dollars to be a watchdog over the builders. Sometimes I find a uh, few uh, defects, is what I call them, a few defects. And there are times I find 20, 25, 30 defects. He's got the time to do a thorough job. Does that mean city inspectors don't? I think probably everyone takes the time necessary to do a quality work. In fact, Rosenberg's chief inspector says that despite their heavy workload, they still find plenty of defects and flunk 25% of the work they check. In Sugar Land, it's even higher. Inspectors there tell us they flunk 40% of the work. With that in mind, consider this. There are places in suburban Houston where for years there have been no inspections at all. No inspections of thousands of homes and buildings built in the unincorporated parts of the counties, places outside city limits, outside the reach of city inspectors. But that is about to change. Starting this September, a new state law will make builders in these unincorporated areas have their work independently inspected with reports to be filed with the state. It's a bit more protection for home buyers. But no matter where you live, John Corberubius feels the only real protection get your own inspector is to hire your own inspector and make sure all the work is done right. Dave Failing, 11 News.